In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to color block your outfit, one of the biggest fashion trends for this season. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Patty, and today's video, we're going to be talking about color blocking. Now, color blocking is a huge trend for this spring summer season. If you saw my latest fashion trends report series, I told you guys that color blocking was going to be a big trend for this spring and summer. Putting blocks of color together can be a little overwhelming, but I'm going to be sharing with you some tips, some techniques to kind of help you color block your outfits. And the pieces in today's video is from She in and they have also left me a coupon code for you to save 15% off. I'll leave that right here and I'll also leave it in the description box as well as the links to every single piece. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first way on how to color block your outfit here, I'm going to be taking the color pink and I'm going to be color blocking it. Now, one of the techniques that I have for color blocking, if you're a little afraid of mixing so many different types of colors, use the monochrome technique and what you can do is color block the same color just in different shades and that's what i'm going to do with this color here i'm going to be color blocking this outfit with different shades of pink so here i'm starting off with a pair of loose trousers in a hot pink color and the top is more of an a baby kind of powdery pink it's still color blocking just color blocking in the same color of different shades and i feel like this is a great technique for somebody who doesn't want to try two super bold colors together but you do you want to try the color blocking trend you can definitely do that with one color and just take different shades to color block now these loose trousers here are from Shein and they're super super comfy I love the bold color and these pants here came in so many different colors and as you're gonna see in this video I got these pants in almost every single color I absolutely love the fit and I feel like they're a great pair of pants in these bright bold colors to wear for this season now for these shoes I'm gonna be wearing a pair of pink booties and these are kind of more in a fuchsia type of pink another shade of pink here to help me color block this outfit in more of a monochromatic way i'm not going to be over accessorizing this look i'm just keeping it simple with a pair of gold hoop earrings i personally feel i don't like to over accessorize when i'm color blocking i feel like color blocking within itself i feel like it's already super bold so i don't like to overcharge the outfit with too much accessories when color blocking now I'm going to be adding a layering piece to this look and I'm adding a blazer in another shade of pink. And also I'm throwing a little print into this mix. The blazer does have a very subtle rosy print to it. You can definitely add some print to your color block look, especially if you're going to use the monochrome technique. I feel like it kind of breaks up the outfit and definitely helps you color block when you're using the same shade. This blazer here is one of my favorites and I feel like it just pairs perfectly with all these shades of pink being color blocked here and then lastly i'm just adding a small white bag to finish off this color block look And now the next way on how you can color block your outfit, you can color block your outfit using the same color family. And here I'm doing that with blue and purple. I wasn't lying guys, I got these pants in every single color. These are the same pants from the first look, just in a blue color. And I'm pairing it here with a lilac top. I definitely feel like these two colors pair very well together and they're kind of from the same family. If you take a look at the order of a rainbow, they kind of flow from purple, blues, and greens and then it flows to the more brighter saturated colors just kind of use the rainbow as kind of like a guide if you're afraid to mix two bold colors you can definitely mix two different colors from kind of the same side of the rainbow and that's exactly what i did here with these blue pants and this lilac top and this lilac color, you guys know I'm so obsessed with it. This is the color of the year, very peri. I feel like you guys have seen so many outfits already with this color on this channel. I'm definitely obsessed with this beautiful lilac color. And now for these shoes, I opted for a pair of white booties. Definitely don't forget to add neutral tones like white or it could be nude or it could be black for your shoes or bags to kind of offset all these colors. I'm also gonna be adding a simple accessory. I'm gonna be adding a small pearl headband. 
I definitely wanted to give this look a little accessory and I feel like something like this headband was super simple and chic. Now I'm going to be throwing an outerwear piece to this look and I'm adding a long jacket in that same purpley color. I really love how these two colors just kind of contrast and create a beautiful color block. And then lastly to finish off the look I'm just adding a small bucket bag in an all pearl detail. Now the next way that you can color block your outfit, you can do that with contrasting tones. Now this here is for my ladies who are not afraid of color, not afraid to mix two bright bold colors. You can definitely take two colors from the opposite end of the rainbows and mix them together to create a bright and bold color block outfit. Now this one can be tricky and if you're afraid of these colors and don't know which ones to go together, you can definitely choose a bold saturated one and kind of mix it with a more softer one. And that's exactly what I did for this look by mixing a red with a pink. And here again, you can see these same pants in a different color. These here are in a nice bright bold red and I paired it here with a pink top. These are definitely two colors that I really love together to create a color block outfit. For these shoes, I'm opting for a pair of red shoes just to kind of keep the bottom a bit of the same tone. And I feel like that just kind of helps the outfit with these two bright bold colors. I wanted to accessorize with a necklace, but I did forget to add it in this clip but with a neckline like this I would definitely add a simple chain to the look. And now to finish off the look, I'm going to be adding another element of color here and I'm going to be adding a yellow bag. This here is another one from more of the saturated side and I feel like this yellow just kind of brought the whole pink and red together. I feel like yellow alone with just pink looks great together and I also feel like yellow and red alone look put together. But just a little confession, just me personally, I don't like to mix yellow with red alone. It just kind of gives me McDonald vibes. I don't know. I I love seeing that color on other girls with beautiful outfits but there's something about me I just cannot mix those two colors alone. I definitely had to add another mix into this and that's why I added the pink top. And now the last way that I'm showing you on how to color block your outfits, when all else fails, you can definitely buy a piece that's already color blocked for you. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you here with this look. I'm starting off here with an all nude base, a pair of nude trousers, and a nude top. And I'm going to be adding this blazer here that is already color blocked. It's mixed with green and black. If you definitely feel very scared to kind of color block, but you still want to try this trend, you can definitely buy a a piece that's already color blocked for you so you don't have to figure out which two colors go together which two colors to put together the work is already done for you if you buy a piece that's already color blocked and this blazer here is one of my favorites i feel like this is such a beautiful rich green color i have shared it here on the channel before and now i'm going to style it for you guys again on this channel i love to show you how to maximize your wardrobe i love taking the same piece and creating different outfits now this blazer is a bit oversized and i wanted to give this look a bit more of a fit so i'm going to go ahead and scrunch up the sleeves and i'm also going to be adding an accessory to it i'm going to be adding a wide waist belt that has a gold buckle in the front I definitely felt like the belt was a nice added accessory and created a nice waistline. And for these shoes, I'm going to be keeping it simple with a pair of nude booties. Again, this outfit here is for my ladies who are afraid to kind of color block and afraid to kind of put two bold colors together. So I definitely opted for a pair of nude booties and just kind of let the blazer that's already color blocked just do the talking. And then lastly, to finish off the look, I'm adding a green bag that has a gold chain detail to it. So 
don't forget to check the description box for all the links to the sheet in pieces and also a coupon code so you can save 15% off. If you missed my last video, I was showing you how to style a white skirt. I'll go ahead and leave that link for you guys right here.